if the power button is not working on your LG TV remote, or if the home button is not working, or if any of the other buttons are not working, it's usually possible to fix it with just a couple of minutes of your time. So first of all, just take the batteries out of your remote, and then try mashing the power button several times to try and get any dirt or grime that might be stuck under the button out of the remote. A common cause of one of the buttons, like the power button not working, is just some muck caught underneath the button that is preventing the button from making contact when you press it. So if you just mash the power button and all the other buttons on the remote a few times, and you can slap the remote into your palm a few times, and that will try and help dislodge any dirt or grime underneath the buttons. You can then put the batteries back in the remote and try it again, and hopefully it will be working. If not, and you've got a new LG TV Magic remote, and buttons like the central scroll wheel button is not working, then it could just be that your remote has become unpaired from your TV, so you'll need to repair it. So first of all, switch your TV on, and then with your remote close to your TV, press and hold the home and back buttons together for about five seconds, and on screen it will say something like remote registration is disconnected, you can then just try pressing the central scroll wheel or one of the other buttons and the remote should automatically repair with your TV. You can confirm whether the Bluetooth is working within the remote by opening up your phone and clicking pair new devices in the Bluetooth menu. And then when you press the central scroll wheel or any other button after deregistering your remote, you should see your remote appear in the pair new devices menu on your phone and it will have um, and it will have a name like LGE something and if you see that on your phone then you know that the Bluetooth is working with your magic remote. If you're still having problems with the power button or, or one of the other buttons then it's a good idea just to take the remote apart and give it a good, good clean. So these remotes are very easy to separate they usually don't have any screws in and you'll just need a flathead screwdriver or similar along the join between the front and the back half of the remote and you'll just carefully pry it open and you can then separate out all the boards and give them a clean with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure you take the batteries out before you start dismantling your remote and then give everything a very thorough clean inside it and that should get rid of any dirt or grime that's causing the remote to not register button presses properly. It's also a good idea just to make sure that you're definitely using brand new batteries and they've got charge, because if some of the button presses on the remote are, are no longer being registered, it could just be that the batteries are, are dying. So the final step, it's a good idea just to check that. 